Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile 2 Crystal Souls. We are still on the river here, now exploring a little closer to Formolo. This cave is extremely hot, and filled with sulfurous fumes and stifling steam. Very homey. So, just in, just in case you ever wanted to visit the sauna in exile, here you go. What's this? There is a mossy obelisk here, out in the middle of nowhere. Carved on it, Cavite Bon. Okay then. And here we have lava! In fact, wasn't there a pretty decent wizard living out around here? Yes, I do believe. We should find Solberg! Hi, Solberg! The faded, sooty sign reads, Tower of Solberg, Royal Clearance. Well, naturally, Solberg has royal clearance. Hi, it's very not nice to see you. Oh, I was going to ice bolt him. Suddenly, there are bright flashes of light ahead of and behind you. When the smoke clears, you see a gang of leering, demonic creatures. They watch you carefully for a few moments. They look disappointed for some reason. Then they attack. Well, that's not good. <laughs> and I see there's an order mage and a cat in the vicinity. You stupid demon, you've slowed Solberg and Cheeseball. You must pay. And I hope I don't die. Okay, we are wounded, we are poisoned. This is pretty bad. Still not dead, this is promising. Maybe if I slow them again, they'll be more slowed than me? I can hope, maybe, please? Still slowed, and cursed, still alive. And one of the demons is dead. We're making progress. Let's move out of Cimmerine's way. And everyone is slowed except Morwen. Yay! I do not like how cursed everybody is right now. Well, at least all of my guys. Okay, because all we seriously need to fix you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, yes. Summon your asps and serpents directly into the lava. That'll help. I could walk directly across the lava. That might be a bad plan. Why are you not dead yet? Let's try... Firewalk. Oh, add a spell points. I do have a wand of fireballs. Not greatly useful against demons, but hey, if you're gonna summon some serpents... I can at least do a little bit. Oh. I'm foolish. Morwen also has a weak energy potion. Haha! -ha! The lava does not harm me now. So let's use one of these energy potions. Finally. Apparently, Firewalk has worn off. Ow, indeed. You circle around the base of the tower, sticking to the narrow ledge. The tower is made of black, perfectly smooth basalt, topped with a featureless dome. You see no entrances or exits. So, yes, as that one serpent shows, Lava doesn't actually hurt you until you step on it, or move to another tile. Hmm. Morwen's diseased, I should probably fix that. Oh yeah! When I get major haste and bless party, I am going to be unstoppable. Hmm. Same message as before there. And summons disappeared. Nice. I am honestly kind of impressed I managed to do that so well. You find intricate golden runes embedded deep within the stone. They look powerful.
So there should be a door around here somewhere, but we can't get in. Surprise, surprise, not only does Solberg have royal clearance, we need royal clearance to get in to see him. And as of now, we are lowly soldier clearance. So we don't get to say hello to Solberg today. Aww. Let's take a safe-ish spot to rest. And continue our exploration. I see a sign. A moldy sign reads, The Healing Waters, South. Beware the swamps. The middle of the swamp seems an inconvenient place to put your healing waters. Healing waters. Bathe, but leave the waters pure. There is a small, sparkling spring here. From it comes a small stream, which flows away to the south into a lake, and from there into the foul swamps surrounding this grotto. Remains of campfires indicate that you are not the first to come here to take the waters. Okay, the sign said to bathe in the waters. It didn't say anything about drinking. The water is refreshing and delicious. You feel it rejuvenate you. Yay! I don't think that actually healed us. Maybe it gave us some XP? Interesting. Another special. Sparkling water pours from a crack in the wall here and flows away to the river to the south. Nothing happens. Okay, then. And we are blocked this way. Hmm. I was pretty sure at least one of those was supposed to horribly poison us. Oh well. While we're in the area, there's another old friend that maybe we can say hello to. It's not these guys. Anyway, farther north. We should find... The Lair of Motrax! Authorized guests only, please. Hmm, authorized. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. You suddenly feel quite ill. Oh. Tell you what, I'm gonna reload for a sec. I will meet you right back here with less disease. Well, the last time I saved was after one spring and before the other, so, uh, I guess this time I get to learn exactly which spring diseases me. Yay? So far, so good. Let's go see if we have enough authorization to see Motrax. My favorite dragon. And of course, since he lives in a cave, we still need to cast light. Hello, anybody home? Hello. A captain of the Exile Army reclines in the corner. He looks barely conscious. When he sees you, however, he seems to inflate, almost leaping out of his chair. Greetings, he says. He leaps over to you, twitching with energy. I'm Ko! It's good to have visitors again! I'm the captain of this garrison. I don't have soldiers anymore, though, he grimaces. It's golems now. I just spend my time chasing lizards. We got a bunch of giant lizards skulking around in the cracks behind these buildings. They're like rats, but deadly. And of course, the golems aren't any help. 
The Crown put some mages here to find out everything they can from poor, old, crippled Motrex. Crippled? Oh no, what happened? They brought golems with them, to replace the human guards. The dragon never sees anyone but them and me, and they tire him out with constant questions. He shakes his head. It's a sad tale, for sad times. The oldest of the dragons in exile. He's kind and wise. I don't know why the Empire sent a bunch of assassins to kill him. He was doing no harm. Eh? Darn you, Empire! Used to have half a dozen soldiers here. Most of them died in an Empire ambush, which crippled Motrax. Then the government moved a bunch of mages in here, and they brought golems in to guard everything. I'm only here to greet people. It's sad. The dragon only wants to meet people in his old age. Now the mages don't let anyone near him. Hmm? Well, that sounds terrible. I'm going to take out my frustrations on some lizards. Oh hey, I see we still have some fire lizards lurking about down here. Too bad I don't have an ice equivalent to fireball. Hmm. Well, I have wall of force or wall of ice. If I can... Oh, I can't see that square, so I don't think I can target it without also hitting me. Which I'd kind of rather not do, but wall of force isn't that bad. Especially when I can do a bit of healing on myself. Ah, darn it. Oh, find more of them. Let me see if I can... Well, that didn't get me out of range of the fire lizards, but... Maybe it brought me into sword range. Ow. Very ow. I hope that's all the fire lizards back here. I'm sure Motrax won't mind if we borrow some stuff that we found in the back corners of his lair. At least these guys are just giant lizards and not something like basilisks. And they drop some tasty mushrooms? Whatever. Ah, and here we have a golem, apparently. No response. Well. Hey, here's some more people. A young, round-faced woman with long brown hair sits at the table. She's writing notes and figures on a scroll already densely covered with writing. She looks up at you. Welcome, visitors. I'm Marion. I hope you aren't here to see the dragon. Well, I was studying Motrax, and being his friend as well. 
Now I just wait. Poor old Motrax. First he was carved up by surface worlders. Now he can only be seen by people with clearance. She spits out the last word. He needs friends. Instead, he gets interrogated for hours on end by a bunch of magi. I haven't seen him in months. I'm just waiting here. I don't know what for. For Ko to be relieved of his post so he can go somewhere better. For Motrax to be able to see his friends again. For things to get better. Hmm... Yeah, some clearance to see Motrax, another to get in the labs they've set up back there. If you belong to the army, you should have the clearance to see him. Tell him Marion says hi. Aw, you don't even have the clearance to see Motrax? That's so sad! Hmm. A tall, aged man with wrinkles and a few wisps of gray hair paces about slowly. He seems shrunken in his mage's robes. He nods at you, not seeming terribly impressed. I am Platt. He responds, more out of politeness than desire to speak with you. I am here to visit the laboratory. We of Exile have a magical laboratory set up here. You can't enter it, I'm sure. The three mages here question the lizard for information that can help us save our nation. You dare to call Motrax a lizard? Motrax, is it? It's hard to get knowledge out of it, but we're trying. Nothing I can tell you about, of course. Now, if you'll excuse me? <laughs> excuse you, indeed. I can't really tell you about the mages. Well, you're useless. And my lights run out. Push the box. And not finding any uh, any secret passages around here. Plenty of golems. That's cheery. To the north is a large cave, with an arching ceiling rising far out of sight. The floor is covered with claw marks. To the north is a nice, hollowed-out area in the floor, set with red tiles. Also, kitties! Carved into the obelisk, Lair of Motrax. Soldier clearance only. Motrax! And kitties. A black cat runs up and rubs against your leg. You check its name tag. It says Epsilon. Hi, Epsilon. It stares at you. It doesn't seem very talkative. Meow! A gray cat prowls happily through the corridors. It must be Motrax's pet. Its name tag says Delta. I think Delta and Epsilon are the same two cats he had in the last game. Yay! I'm so glad they survived. Meow. It purrs. Cats are good. Motrax is also good, even though he's not doing too well. Sitting in the depression before you is an enormous reddish-green lizard, 50 feet from head to tail. Time, however, has not been kind to it. Its scales are fading and wrinkled, and scars line its body. It looks like it can barely walk. It looks at you, straining to see. Ah, humans, welcome. I am Motrax, the dragon. It is strangely happy to see you. Its voice has an empty, rasping quality. I... I... He is at a loss for words. His head is bowed low and the words struggle to emerge. I... 
I help the humans as best I can, for protection. I've always helped people. I liked them. I had many friends. But then the attack came, and I had to be protected, and I don't see my friends anymore. The enormous creature looks at the horrible wounds on its chest and legs. The Empire sent a force in to kill me. Me! Who only wanted to learn. Who was always a friend to humans. I never lost a battle in my life, and didn't lose that one. Blood of their soldiers ran thick through these caves. But I was wounded. So wounded. I cannot fight a battle like that again. Now here I am, near crippled and alone. And my siblings fare no better. I like humans. They are strong and good. But they have not been good for dragonkind. Foolish Pyrog was slain by adventurers years back. Athran hides in her lair, growing in bitterness and hatred. Koth is the same. And Sulphurus, mightiest of us all, serves the Empire to protect herself. Ours is a sad lot now. I had many friends here once. They came to talk to me from all over. Guards to talk to, and sages, and just the curious. Now I only see the wizards and the golems. Its head lowers in shame. Put here for my protection after the attack. I help them. They ask me questions for hours in return for the protection. I have to take it. What can I do? Marion says hi. He looks wistful. A kind woman. I've asked them to let her in. I hope I can see her soon. Mm. Poor Motrax. Just pretend I'm giving a hug to the dragon right now. Can we unlock his door? Beyond the door is a short corridor. In alcoves on either side, you see large, ominous runes set into the floor. A brass plaque in the wall. Magi clearance only beyond this point. You have been warned. The runes shoot out a burst of force. You are thrown back. Well then. We're not going to be able to see that side of Motrax's cave this session. It appears Motrax still has the secret passage leading to his horde, perhaps. Carved into the obelisk. Thieves who dare abuse my trust will before long return to dust. There are strange markings on the floor. I'm going to flee this time, because ticking off a dragon is not something to be done lightly. Especially when that dragon is Motrax and my friend. We have a little bit more exploring to do, but that can wait for the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.